In the previous lecture videos, we've looked at tons of graphs, acceleration, velocity, displacement, and also, of course, energy and what happens if your path has, what happens to your shape of your path if there's some air resistance included. But sometimes they may give you some weird graph and you're like, teacher never talked about this before, I cannot do already. Well, other than just guessing the answer and I think this feels correct, I'm going to show you a method which you can use, involves some equations though. But this method can use for all kind of physics graph questions to know what is the correct shape between uh, this R and this H. What is R and H? Let's read the question. A student uses a spring gun to launch a steel ball with a constant horizontal velocity. So you see this gun, uh, you're gonna, the, the object is going to come out with the exactly perfectly horizontal velocity right here. So that's going to be Ux, which is the initial velocity. And then they will measure the horizontal displacement r, also known as the range, how far do you travel, and of course the height from which you launch this. Now this is a very common lab uh, lab experiment, so if you have a chance to do it in school, uh, hopefully you get a think about that experiment if you did. Which graph shows a variation with height of the horizontal displacement? So I change this height, this r will also change, but what is the relationship? If you have not tried this question before, I encourage you, please pause the video now and try out this boss question. Just try and make a guess. You know, just A, B, C, D, make a guess. Now, once you make a guess, let's see if the guess was correct or not. Okay, how do we find relationship between two variables? I could guess my way or I could... Um, Use an equation. Okay, let's see if we can guess and eliminate something. If you think about this experiment, or let's say you launch from something really low. It goes pew, pop. Launch from a higher point, pew, pop. Okay, if you launch from zero height, you should not have a range at all. So when h is zero, there should be no range. You cannot even project out. So whatever this graph is, it should pass through the origin. H0, zero, R0. Zero. The only one we can eliminate is this. Something's wrong here not supposed to have intercept. When your height is zero, you should not even have a range for a projectile at all. That leaves us with the rest. Now you see this trend, or is it a straight line, curve up or curve down? Let's start by thinking, can you come up with an equation that relates R and H? Like R equals to something, 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 H. Is it R proportional to H? Is it R proportional to H square? or r proportional to square root h, that would tell us uh, how to find all this. Okay, maybe h we cannot recognize. So we think of, okay, what are names we can recognize? We need equations. We need equations, guys. Vertical displacement is also known as s of y. From our Stuva equations, right? And the horizontal displacement, r here, is also what we call s of x. So equation number one, let's think of the horizontal. Horizontal equation, there's only one equation I know that's S. Oh, that starts with S. Maybe we'll try this first. S equals to UT plus half AT squared. But I'm looking at the horizontal, so all these have to be in the X component. Then, I'm like, okay, S of X is very good. I have an R in the equation. Um, U, do I have an equation for U? Not really, ah. Uh. I mean, u, u of x is u, so I just I guess I could just leave it as u times t. Now, the acceleration, though, is gone because there is no horizontal acceleration. This thing is all zero. So plus zero, don't have. Okay, we good. No need to write the zero. No horizontal acceleration here. Then we can look at, okay, we've got down the horizontal R. Now let's find the Y. So number two. S equals to, let's do the same thing again, UT plus half AT squared. This time we do it for the vertical. So all this must add a small subscript Y. This Y is also known as H. So we put a H. Initial vertical speed. Is there an initial vertical speed pointing downwards? No. No vertical speed at the beginning. So no u y. Because it's equal to zero law. So this whole thing is gone. 
Eh, hey, going to right lah, zero. All that's left is half and vertical acceleration. Let's just call it G la. Constant G. T squared. Okay, we're stuck. We're very close, but we're stuck. We have an equation for R. We have an equation for H. We just need to put them together. So what I'm going to do is, maybe I'm going to substitute the T inside there. So I'll do one quick rearrangement here. And I'm say, oh, I can rearrange this to be T equals to R over U. I take this. I sub it inside here. What do we get at the end? H equals to half G and the whole T becomes R over U squared. Uh, but almost there. Not yet, not yet. So this one is what's our y-axis? R and H. Mm, okay, so we try to rearrange this a little bit so we can recognize it. Or if I'm lazy, I just say, ah yeah, based on this, uh, there's H, there's R square. So I can conclude that the relationship between H and R, if everything else is constant, so I say, therefore, H is proportional to R square. Yay, we got an equation to help us know the curve, the relationship between the curve. But wait a second, this is R, so I'm going to rearrange a bit. So this R is proportional to root H. So the square root graph really is definitely not going to be straight line. This is, if you were saying R proportional to H, this is called a linear relationship which is not correct for our equation. So can already know? How about this B? B here is R proportional to H squared. It's called a quadratic relationship. You know, quadratic graphs, Y equals to X squared, they generally have a shape that looks like this. Smiley face. But that's not our relationship here. Nope. So that only leaves us with the last one that satisfies this relationship, which is a square root graph. R Proportional to square root of h. I'll call this a uh, square root graph. La. S Q R T. Okay, so best choice here is going to be A. It helps to know your relationships. So square root graph is smiling. Linear is a straight line. Y x is y equals to x or y proportional to x. Square root graph is going to be kind of like the quadratic but sideways. So I'm going to see something like this. This is y equals to square root x, sometimes plus minus, if you want to include both sides. So whenever you see a square root, the curve is a little bit different. Uh. It flattens out. But anyway, hope that was helpful in thinking about questions like this. Remember, whenever you see a graph question, if, you're, if it's possible, I mean, if you want to guess, sure, go ahead. But if it's possible, come up with an equation that will convince yourself of the relationship between the graph. How is it curved? Is there an intercept or not? Y goes mx plus c. And that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.